On today's show, BMW comes out with some wild looking concepts to help celebrate its 100th anniversary. The Ram Rebel gets Moparized, and VW gets another extension to settle its diesel scandal. All that and more coming right up on AutoLine Daily. This is AutoLine Daily for June 16th of 2016. Back in April, VW reached a preliminary agreement with U.S. officials on how it will compensate diesel owners with emission cheating software. The deadline for the settlement was set for next week, but Bloomberg reports that the company has been given until June 28th to file because of the, quote, highly technical nature of the talks. The company has set aside $18 billion to cover the cost, but analysts on a recent auto line this week concluded that it could end up costing the company more than $70 billion when it's all said and done. And speaking of scandals, the Kyoto News in Japan reports that Mitsubishi falsified fuel economy data for all of its vehicles going back to 1991. Originally, the company was investigating nine models. This new revelation could potentially harm Nissan's recent 34% stake it just purchased in Mitsubishi. The deal isn't official until Mitsubishi and Japanese regulators finish their investigations. You know, back in March, BMW helped celebrate its 100-year anniversary with a wild-looking concept called the Vision Next 100. The idea was to look into the future of what might be in store for the BMW brand. And now, it's Mini and Rolls-Royce's turn. The overall shape and big round instrument cluster of the Mini Vision Next 100 help tie the concept to today's vehicles, but not much else does. The wild opening doors lead into a sparse interior with a single bench seat. Of course, with this being a future concept, the car can easily switch between autonomous and manual driving. Now the Rolls-Royce Vision Next 100 is perhaps the most wild-looking of the three concepts and almost has a boat-like quality to it. It takes the idea of covered wheel arches and literally turns them on their side. And like the Mini, the Rolls features wild opening doors that lead into an interior with a single luxurious bench seat and a large viewing screen. But what would any Rolls Royce be without its matching luggage? This just happens to pop out of the front fender. While concepts like these will never hit a showroom floor, it is important for automakers to keep looking ahead as not to get left behind. Still to come, the Ram Rebel gets the Mopar treatment. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires, your journey, our passion. Dow Automotive Systems, advanced materials that deliver better results. And by Lear, a global leader in automotive seating and electrical systems. We like highlighting new technology here at AutoLine, and here's a new aftermarket head-up display with all kinds of neat features. The unit, called iScout, can connect to both your phone via Bluetooth and your car through the OBD2 port. So it's able to display things like fuel level, social media notifications, or even an incoming call, which can be accepted or rejected with the swipe of a hand. And for a little bit of added safety, the more premium unit comes with blind spot cameras that activate when the turn signals are turned on. The company has launched a Kickstarter campaign to raise money with the hopes of shipping the $300 HUDs in November. Mopar has been offering a limited number of modified cars since 2010, but now it's time for the trucks to get some love too. Meet the Mopar 16 Ram Rebel. The truck starts out life as a Ram 1500 4x4 Rebel crew cab, but then gets a host of mostly cosmetic upgrades. They include flat black graphics, front skid plate, and wheel arches, as well as special Mopar graphics down the side and rear tailgate. Optional performance dealer add-ons include a cat-back exhaust system and cold air intake. The Mopar 16 Ram Rebel will arrive at select dealerships in the summer with an MSRP of about $52,500, which is about $5,000 on top of the base truck. 
Coming up next, Land Rover pulls off a unique stunt to showcase the Discovery Sports capability. For the people at Dow, racing is a sport and a science. We enjoy one and learn from the other. But like most competitive people, we like winning at both. This is the human element at work. Dow. There's more car news and industry insight from the AutoLine Network every day. Take a moment to click that subscribe button. You'll never miss another AutoLine episode. Land Rover is going all out to show off its technology. It just towed three train carriages that weigh 108 tons combined with a Discovery Sport. The vehicle was equipped with a 2-liter diesel with 317 pound-feet of torque and a 9-speed automatic transmission. The SUV pulled the carriages along six miles of train track in Switzerland and was only modified with a couple of casters to make sure it didn't fall off the track. The Discovery Sport is certified to tow 2.5 tons, but it was able to pull 60 times its weight. The technologies used to pull off the stunt include terrain response, tow assist, tow hitch assist, and all-terrain progress control, which is a system that automatically manages engine output and braking. Obviously, Land Rover doesn't recommend doing this, but it is cool to see how capable its SUV really is. Sales of Honda's Accord Hybrid dropped off significantly last year, but the automaker is hoping to get a shot in the arm with the introduction of the new model. Both power and fuel economy are up from last year. Horsepower now comes in at 212, and it's rated at 49 MPG in the city, 47 on the highway, and 48 combined. New features include remote start, front and rear parking sensors, rain-sensing wipers, heated rear seats, and auto high beams. Honda's suite of safety and driver assistance technology, called Honda Sensing, is now standard. While some higher trim levels get a new touchscreen interface with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility. The 2017 Honda Accord Hybrid launched nationwide yesterday with a starting price of $29,605, only slightly more than last year's model. And make sure you tune in to AutoLine After Hours later today. Our special guest is former GM designer Dick Ruzin to talk about his unique Opal Bitter. That's today at 3 p.m. Eastern Time on our website, autoline.tv. That wraps up today's show. Thank you for watching. Please join us again tomorrow.